Mineville, Kentucky. This is Zero Arson. You're watching a show with Zay Frank. One, I'm on muscle relaxers. And two, I threw my back out over the weekend. And you know those people that say that they sneezed and then they threw out their back? I wish I was those people, because you know what I was doing? Nothing! And I'm not supposed to operate heavy machinery, but my camera's not heavy. But sometimes the content gets heavy. <laughs> Zinger! <laughs> but listen, I know you're gonna tell me that I need a better chair, that I have to exercise more, but the technical medical reason that I threw my back out is because my back muscle's a D-bag. <laughs> Let's see what the internet has to say. Kent Barker tweeted at me. He said, at Zay Frank, my question thought simple still may spark your interest. How do you feel about couples fighting? Is it bad? Kent Barker, you had me at my question thought simple still may spark. Kent Barker, I'd be happy to give you advice on your couples fighting, but a quick disclaimer, and I'm sorry that I haven't mentioned this before, and I know some of you don't like swearing, but I'm a fuck up. Like when I go to the doctor, he says, I have your results and it seems like you have a high level of fuck up. And I say, yeah, I know, it's hereditary. Well, have you tried changing your diet, like eating more pride? Yes, but it's hard to swallow, zinger. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, sometimes I get scared when I'm ordering takeout or have to return an article of clothing to a store because I think people are gonna yell at me. Seriously. Sometimes I change the channel on the TV because I get too jealous of the fictional characters that I see on the TV. That's messed up. When I was 18, I got caught shoplifting, and even worse than the stealing, which is bad, by the way, was the fact that I took a Best of Algero cassette tape out of the discount bin and tried to steal it. And my muscle relaxants and I say this because if you're gonna take advice from me, I don't want either of us to pretend that I'm anything more than I am, which is a refugee from the island of misfit toys and a fuck up. So Kent Barker, back to your question. How do I feel about couples fighting? Is it bad? Question mark. First off, Kent Barker, when you say couples, I'm gonna assume that you mean two people that love and care for each other. In which case, I would say that expressing anger openly and freely is a good thing. It means that you're comfortable with each other. That being said, there's good fighting and there's bad fighting, and it's a good idea to go over the rules for a good clean fight when you're not fighting. I'm gonna tell you some of the rules that I like, and feel free to subtract or add to these, except for the first one. No hitting, pushing, shoving, or any kind of physical altercations. That one is bad always. The second one may seem a little hypocritical, but it's no swearing. Swearing should be reserved for exclaiming about how large a poop is or how hot it is on a particular day. These are gonna get a little harder as I go. Number three is no overarching, awful generalizations about a person's character. Number three are, I'm not gonna pretend like I can keep a list. Generalizations are generally kind of crappy. Things like you always or you never try to stay focused on the content that started the argument in the first place. However, 19B, you should realize that there's actually two arguments going on. One is a feelings argument and the other one is a content specific argument and they're kind of different. 514-2, sometimes when the feelings part of the argument gets very, very intense, it's probably best not to stay focused on the content and just deal with the feelings part. E.g., let's talk about the schedule for who makes the bed later on. Right now, let's focus on why you're getting so angry about it. This next one's a bitch to implement, but it works when you get it down. Allow yourself, when things get crazy heated, to have a timeout. 15 seconds to 15 minutes. No judgments, just walk away and then get back into it when you can. Ah, here's one I forgot. Don't threaten to leave just for leverage. That's a playing card that'll lose its value quickly and sour the relationship quite a bit. Another one is don't use your partner to fight past battles. If you find yourself saying things like, you always make me feel, you make me feel, and you can trace that feeling to past relationships, it might be on you. Here's one that I struggle with, hearing what the other person is saying. If you find yourself having trouble communicating, try this. Repeat back exactly what the other person said. This is actually harder than it seems. Like for example, you might hear, it hurts me when you don't call me during the day and be asked to repeat it back exactly. And you might respond by saying, you said I don't think about you at all during the day and just don't realize how busy my schedule is and are totally inconsiderate for the fact that I have work to do. When you should have said, your feelings get hurt when I don't call you during the day. Try not to fight with what you think that the other person is thinking. In that case, you're sort of fighting with yourself, which is gonna be a long fight. And that's what I mean by clean fights, when you're fighting about what's actually happening right there, what kind of anger you have, what kind of other emotions are going on, and the actual content that you're fighting about. All of this helps you keep track of all the other crap that you're bringing into the argument from your past or from the rest of the day or whatever. 
helps it keep it clean. And two final notes. One, learn how to apologize quickly and in the moment. And two, if you're about to say something that you know is going to be difficult to hear, you can put it inside an intent sandwich. Namely, say the intent, the big overarching intent, which is usually something like, I love you and value our relationship a lot, and I really want it to work. That's why I'm about to say what I'm going to say. I don't know, that's just me and my muscle relaxants talking, but I'm sure you have good advice too. What's your advice on fighting and how to do it well? Bye, bye, it's the bye-bye song.